Good morning children. Today we are going to learn about the reproduction in plants. Reproduction is one of the main characteristic features in all the living organisms. And plants are also a part of these living organisms. Anything which grows and which dies after a certain period is called as a living thing. And one such thing is plant also. So, these plants are also having the characteristic feature of reproducing their own type. And this reproduction in plants, it takes place in two ways. One system is the sexual type of reproduction and the other one is the asexual type of reproduction. Today mainly we are going to see about the sexual type of reproduction. So, the sexual type of reproduction in plants, it takes place through the flowering, all the flowering plants have the characteristic feature of sexual type of reproduction. In a plant, the flower is the most important thing where we can find the male gametes as well as the female gametes. Now, coming to sexual type of reproduction, first we have to see the different parts of a flower to understand and to know about the reproduction in this method. So this is a flower. All of you know that this is a flower and this is a hibiscus flower. In the common language, in English it is also called as the shoe flower. So this flower, it comes out in number of colors. We can see it in many colors. And today I have a red flower and a green flower and a white flower also. So in this shoe flower or the hibiscus flower, we have four main parts. The colored leaf-like structures, they are called as the petals. These petals, they are surrounded by the green leaf-like structure. They are called as the sepals. And inside these two, we have the male and the female parts of the flower. They are the androsium. And the gynosium. So this is the male part. And this is the female part. So these two take the most important part in the reproduction of the plant. So, how does the reproduction take place? These petals and sepals, they are the accessory parts. They don't take part directly in the reproduction. So, what happens? The androsium or the male part, it consists of again two things. They are the anther and the stamen. These two are the male parts and over the anther we can find the pollen grains. These pollen grains are the male gametes in the reproduction of the plants. So these male gametes, they fuse with the female gametes which are the ovules. Now what are the female parts? The female parts are style stigma ovary and the ovules these ovules are the female gametes so where are these ovules present these ovules are present at the base of the flower these ovules are present inside the ovary and this ovary is connected to the style by the stigma. So when the pollen grain comes and rests over the style, automatically the style takes the male gamete that is the pollen grain into the ovary through the stigma. When the pollen grain, the gamete, male gamete when it reaches the ovary, automatically it fuses with the male, the male gamete fuses with the female gamete that is the ovule and the fusion of the male and the female gamete takes place which leads to the zygote. 
so when the zygote is formed the zygote is nothing but it is formed and these ovules will change into the zygote then what happens is this zygote it leads to seeds which are present inside the fruit the fruit is nothing but the zygote which is having again three layers the outer layer at the inner layer and the seed so the mesocarp it helps the zygote and the seeds to grow so what are the female parts and what are the male parts initially we have seen and today we are going to learn about the male and female parts in the flower now let us see the different parts in the flower so to study a flower today i am going to show you the different parts so these colored leaf like structures which are called as the petals they mainly they are useful in attracting the insects for the sake of pollination because of this bright color or because of the sweet smell which is emitted from the flower or because of the uh, attractive shape of the flower and the smell of the flower the different insects they come to the flower for the sake of pollination and pollination is the main reason which is helpful in this reproduction of plants through the sexual method because the pollen grains from one flower are carried away to the other flowers so all these red color petals which i have pulled out they are the petals now after taking out the petals we can see the green color structure it is nothing but the sepals these sepals are usually helpful in protecting the flower when it is in the bud stage so this bud stage is when the flower has yet to bloom it is useful in protecting the flower which is present inside the sepals all the sepals together they are called as the calyx <clears throat> all the petals together they are called as the corolla these calyx and corolla they are nothing but they are accessory parts of the flower they are usually not helpful in reproduction but they help in the reproduction of the plants the next the main parts which we are going to see are the male and female parts here you can see the bulb like structure it is called as the gynoecium here you can see inside you have the ovary and this long structure is the style and at the top you have one particular part which is called as the stigma the bunch which you can see here are the stamens and the anther on the anther are the male gametes and the ovules which are present inside the ovary they are the female gametes then in flowers also we have male flowers female flowers and flowers which have both male and females now this hibiscus this flower is a flower which has both the male and the female both parts inside the same flower some flowers are only male some flowers are only female and some are having both male and female parts such flowers are called as the bisexual flowers so what happens this pollen grain when it is deposited on the stigma it reaches the ovules and the fertilization between the male and female gamete takes place and the zygote is formed this is the main method of reproduction in plants in the sexual method the next one is the asexual method of reproduction <coughs> this it mainly consists of three systems it is a separate chapter which we will deal with later on the first one is buds the next one is spores and the third one is vegetative propagation so where does this asexual type of reproduction take place this asexual type of reproduction it mainly takes place in the plants which do not have flowers 
the non flowering plants usually have this type of reproduction all the flowering plants have the sexual type of reproduction where we have the male and female gametes and the fusion of these two leads to the zygote and this zygote it has the seeds inside the fruit today certain things special about plants we are going to see you all might be surprised to know that bamboo is not a plant bamboo is grass and then the next thing which i want to tell you is about flowers the study of flowers is called as anthology the study of flowers is called as anthology so every part of the plant where we study it is having a special subject or a course which leads to great heights and this is important many of you might be thinking that this is a seventh class lesson but this lesson which is there in the seventh class is a base for your eighth class where you'll have a continuation of this lesson so unless and until you are thorough with this parts and the basics of seventh class syllabus you will not be able to understand the eighth ninth and tenth class syllabus and the further classes also so children try to study as many flowers as possible in and around your home all of you take a hibiscus flower try to study each and every part of the flower and try to understand the various parts if you can see the ovules it is very good try to dissect it try to cut the flower try to study the flower and try to understand the various parts of the flower which i have shown you today this is about the reproduction in plants that is once again quickly i am revising sexual type of reproduction asexual type of reproduction in sexual type of reproduction we have the male and the female parts male parts are stamen anther and pollen grains pollen grains are the gametes male gametes female parts are stigma style ovary and inside the ovary we have the ovules and these ovules are the female gametes when the pollen grain fuses with the female gamete ovule it forms a zygote and this zygote it develops into a fruit and inside the fruit we find the seeds these seeds are helpful in reproducing or in developing a similar kind of plant like a mango tree will have a mango tree again uh, any tree which is having the seed it will develop into the same kind of tree once again thank you children try to understand by taking a flower and studying it observing it carefully and understanding each and every part thank you